If I had a guess, I'd say that your membership levels or pricing page is the most important page on your membership site, probably second only to your checkout page. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our advanced levels page add-on and the new block features that we just released to build a more beautiful pricing page for your membership site. Our demo site has always used the advanced levels page add-on, uh, but it used the shortcode version because up until recently we didn't have block editor support for this add-on. So this tutorial is strictly to show you all the block options that you can uh, use within the block editor. If you're using a page builder and still want to use this add-on, there are shortcode equivalents with all of the same settings uh, that are in the documentation. So I'll put a link in the documentation that'll show you where to access all those attributes in those shortcodes. You can use it with Elementor, Divi, Avada, any builder and any system that you're using in your site. Member light is the theme we always use in our demos and has built-in integration to style the levels for the advanced levels page add-on. So some of what you'll see here is going to be a little bit different than if you were using a WordPress 2024 theme or another theme in your site. So check out Member Lite. It is the right choice uh, if you want all of this built-in default styling and all of the colors to be inherited from your theme settings. And on this demo site, I can click compare plans and you'll see this is uh, the shortcode version of this. So let's start by converting this to the add-on version. I already have the uh, advanced levels add-on active in this site. If I go to plugins, you'll see uh, PM Pro advanced levels uh, page add-on is here in the site. The plugin itself doesn't have any settings. It just unlocks those blocks and the availability to use that shortcode in your posts and pages. So let's navigate and edit our pricing page. It's labeled here in the site by membership levels page. We're gonna edit this a few different ways to showcase all of the different blocks that exist. So this is default behavior. This is what the shortcode looks like uh, that you might be using prior to the latest release. I'm gonna convert this to the block version. So let's insert a membership pricing and that's this PM Pro advanced levels page add-on here block so it renders in the admin it lets you see exactly what's going on let's recreate it uh, to look like the demo so the one that was in the demo was our three column layout you can choose this just here in block settings under the layout field I'm going to show all of my levels so I'm not going to customize this it's already set up but if you wanted to you could you know enter it here one two three and that just chooses which level IDs to show or you could bump one in the middle if you wanted that most expensive tier to be in the middle. It's kind of a hacky thing with designing a pricing page to put that most optimal tier in the middle. It gets anchored by the other two on either side. So that's this. Uh, the block editor is kind of funny. Uh, it has a default content width. So I want this to go a little bit wider. So I'm going to put this inside of a group block and tell the group block to align wide and not tell inner blocks to use the content width. So then drag this in. That's really just block editor behavior. I, depending on your theme, you might have a wider layout and not have to do that manipulation. Member light, you do have to adjust that. No big deal. Uh, so the default layout here, you can toggle what you want to be shown. So level description off. We don't have any of the description. The images all disappear. For these levels, they all don't expire. They're recurring memberships. So I would recommend we shut off level expiration here. You can change the button text that's the checkout button that shows with all the levels you see that dynamically updated to buy now the renew button this would be shown if somebody already had the membership level so you can customize that text also the back link shows a link here uh, that return to home i don't always like to put that on the page so i'm going to turn that off and highlight is an attribute that might or may not be supported in your theme for the member light theme it's uh it is supported so you can set which level id gets that like bonus highlight display so we'll see that on the front end when we do but we're going to set it to the level three here so i'm going to delete this old short code version and let's just update and see what our changes look like on our site click view page perfect so i mean it looks the same right looks very very much the same let's keep playing with this and show a few more options uh, for what this page could look like so we did this Layout is three columns. You can also do a two column layout and we could maybe say like, oh, don't show this other level here um, and adjust that here. It looks slightly different in the site. Uh, you could do a table layout, which is similar to the built in one, but just a little bit more enhanced uh, what it looks like in the site. So this one here, just showing um, that information, depending on what your levels are and how much information you need to show. One layout might look better than another layout. You can play around with it. Change it from time to time and see if it changes how uh, your site converts. Uh, you could do that for sure. So I'm going to show you this is the div layout, which kind of just puts a stack of blocks all on top of each other. 
if I was doing this layout, I wouldn't make it that full bleed width. So let's turn off that inner blocks use content width and just take another peek. This would be all of them stacked on top of each other here. What I like about this layout, you could use the advanced levels block on a landing page for a specific level and put just a single level pricing block on that page. So that in that levels attribute, instead of putting a comma separated list of items, you could instead just say like only this one, only level one. We have this landing page. It's all about beginner. Just show beginner here. So it's a great way to drop in a pricing block on your site that's dynamic. It's updated as you change the description of the level or the price of the level. It all stays in sync. Uh, if you change the level name, it all stays in sync. So even though you can custom build your pricing page with the block editor, with Elementor pricing tables and other plugins, it's kind of the most bulletproof when you're able to do it that the data stays dynamically updated. So really um, good to check this out. I'm going to move into one more piece of the tutorial, which is a very popular piece of the advanced levels add-on. It's our comparison layout. So let's put some of our defaults back in. We'll add our one, two, three levels. And we're going to switch this to the compare table layout. So when you look at this now, you'll see in the editor, it changed my view so that I can see all of my levels with, and then all my buy buttons, all my pricing here in order. We need to add a new attribute, which is the comparison items. So if you scroll here, compare table items, and it gives you a description of how to set these up because it's very finicky how you do it. But each row of items in your comparison table are separated by commas. So the label of the item, And then whether that level does or does not have the feature. So a one means the level has the feature and a zero means the level does not. So let's repeat that just so you can see how that works. I'm gonna adjust this and I'll talk through what that means. Okay. So here we've set up two comparison items, label one, label two. Label one, all of the levels in my comparison table have that attribute. So I listed a one, one, one. Then I put a semicolon. That means break. This is the next comparison item in the list. For label item two, I said only professional level gets that. So I put zero, zero, one. Once you start playing with it, it will make sense. And once it's in place, you don't have to touch it again. I know that that's a little tricky. We really toyed around with what was the best way to let people have this flexibility without over-engineering things at this point. So really have to play with it a little bit. There's another option you can do a feature item, let's say. And then you can say a specific string. So you can say 10 sites, 20 sites, 50 sites, and add actual text in your comparison. So not just check marks, not just dashes, no's and yeses, but actually values that show what's the comparison. Um, some people do, uh, let's say like events, one per month, five per month. 10 per month. You can get really creative with how much you show on this page. So let's save this and we'll take a peek on the front end at what it looks like. Do we still have a level highlighted? We do. We still have our third level highlighted. Let's change this to two. I think it often looks best when the highlighted level is in the middle. Update. Let's take a peek. This might be tight. We're going to want to do that block editor hack, but you see it's coming together. We have all of our labels, all of our comparison items, and our highlighted middle level. Let's put it back in that group block and set the content width so that it can expand and be a little bit more happy. View page, nice. So often people will do a column type layout at the top of their pricing page and then further down the page after some refund policy, some testimonials some social proof, some features, some FAQs, they'll put that large comparison table, especially for very robust sites when each level has distinct offerings and you really wanna show all of the value, all of the features that each level brings to the table. So the comparison table is very good to use for that. There are other WordPress plugins that let you build compare tables. Again, you're not going to have it in tight sync with the level. So check out Advanced Levels Shortcode and Advanced Levels page, the new block features that are available um, in there. It looks pretty good on other themes. So why don't I just change to a default theme so you can see what you might get. Let's say if you were using 2024, let's put that one on. So 2024 is also a block theme, so you'll be able to use the block and you'll be able to customize the block settings right in the editor. This is what the advanced levels looks like in the comparison table view with our 2024 theme. It's a little bit grayer, a little bit plainer, but still 
very great appearance of the design here and inheriting all of the settings that we want for the site and how to check out. So that's the advanced levels page add-on. It's gonna help you build more beautiful pricing pages in your membership site. Keep your data all in sync so you're not trucking around in your site seeing, oh, I changed that price. Where are all the places I may have customized it in my site? Thanks for watching this tutorial. I know that getting started with this add-on might be a little complex, but really we found that people, when they switch to using the advanced levels page add-on, create more beautiful pricing pages. They see a huge increase in checkouts in their site as compared to like a default pricing table that comes with Paid Memberships Pro Core. I'm Kim Coleman. Give this video a like if it was helpful to you. Bookmark it so you can come back later and try all of these layouts in your site. And also subscribe to our channel. We're always releasing more tutorials of how to use the Paid Memberships Pro plugin, our add-ons, and other third-party plugins we integrate with.